Hey guys, welcome to another English commentary done by Dignity. This match is going to be again between Go Rush and Fabian, this time on Medusa. So it looks like we have Go Rush starting at the 6 o'clock position as our red Zerg friend, and Fabian starting at the 3 o'clock position as the yellow Terran. So game one not going so well for Fabian, getting run over. Go Rush just doing an excellent mutilus harass, and that's really, it was textbook. There were moments where I thought that maybe Fabian would be, a, he did manage to take out a hatchery there, but. Maybe if he had just pressed that attack in, that probably would have gotten squashed as well. Go Rush just played really, really well, top to bottom. It was th there was a clear difference between skill, and we'll have to see if that's going to continue on Medusa. So Fabian might show us something here, though. And this is again, it's on Medusa. A lot of these maps, I'm curious if they're going to mix it up for this next MSL. A lot of people have been saying, well, the map sets they've been so Protoss favored. That's why we're getting all Protoss finals. That's why all these Protoss are being so dominant. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious if it's that or if it's just the Zerg players and adverse, uh, comparatively Zerg players are just playing better. Uh, or I'm sorry, <laughs> reverse that. Protoss players are just playing better and Zerg players have been slumping across the board. I mean, we have Savior. Savior, all, despite his promises, to destroy everyone in 2009. I don't think he's really picked his play up. He still looks uh, he still looks great, but I don't think he looks crushingly dominant like he did. Uh, whereas guys like Best, Stork, Jing, B, Cal, and Bisu do look very, very scary, honestly. They, they're they very, very strong players. Looks like we see Fabian actually setting up to seal his front door and take not just, and this is the thing on Medusa, you're not just sealing in one expansion, you're going to take quick three. We'll see if Gorosh does the same thing he did last time and just take a couple additional expansions, just straight macro at this stage, knowing that he's not going to face any early pressure. So he does have that Overlord in position, it's going to kind of meander out. He doesn't even need to send out a scouting drone at this stage so even going to have an economy save it looks like he's just going to try to hover it on that edge to keep it out of sight range so the fa so Fabian does not know that Overlord hasn't been spotted and also doesn't reveal his location try to keep Fabian in the dark as long as possible so uh, and it looks like yeah he's got that spawning pool down doesn't look like he's going to do straight three hive but or I'm sorry three hatchery he, I think he could at this stage and it looks like he's actually going to run a drone up he wants to try to sneak that in anyway and it's going to be a bit on delay so I think it's going to throw Fabian somewhat off here comes that scouting SCV uh, I'm sorry that scouting SCV is built as already out in the field he's already coming down hasn't isn't producing a marine at this stage is just going to go straight command center without anything alongside and my curiosity is is if go rush will spot the fact that that barracks is not in fact flashing and if he's going to put on some early zergling pressure and try to thread the loop here uh, looks like a marine just now being produced uh, there is a drone, yeah, it looks like that drone backing off. He's just going to mine actually out that front door, try to make sure that temple's protected, uh, make sure that additional scouts can't sneak through. He is going for that quick third hatchery, add his mineral only. And go rush, really, I feel he's probably just going to go mule skin, just go right over that barrier. And then make sure that Fabian never has an opportunity to establish a, an additional expansion at his mineral only. Fabian taking early gas. So maybe thinking about a quick shift to Science Vessel or maybe thinking about Mech. And if he is thinking about and getting an Engineering Bay down very, very quickly as well, knowing that Mulusks are somewhat of a vulnerability uh, at this build. And if he goes Mech very quickly, he needs to be extremely careful. Simply because Mech, uh, again, the vulnerability tends to be against Mulusks. Goliaths are very good against uh, single groupings of units, but usually the combination zerglings mutalisks they uh, they tend to not do so well in that uh, circumstance and also early you just don't get enough Goliaths out to deal with the amount of mutalisks that the zerg can produce um, additionally yeah the, the <laughs> Goliaths are slow and they're kind of dumb uh, they're you'd think for giant mechanized units they'd have better programming they'd be able to figure out oh yeah I should go over here I should go over there they invest in these gigantic bi things that are you know bipedal and have gigantic gatling guns you'd expect them not to just wander off and, and stand and run into a wall or kind of dance around the circle with their friends completely off in the battlefield or something like that but no you know Terran and ingenuity right there um, <laughs> I guess they, they were like our medic marines are so awesome they don't need these freaking goliaths they just yeah screw those guys yeah, just put a whatever in there. We'll get a toaster AI. Just throw him in there. Anyway, it looks like uh, Zergling's going to try to chase that SCV scout out. There are three Marines on the front door. Academy going up as well. That early gas looks like he's most likely, and with that engineering, but I really suggest he's going to do a quick shift to uh, to, to science vessels rather into to, uh, mechanized units. Getting another barracks in the backfield. 
Oi, sorry, voice giving out a little bit there. Zergling's starting to push up the midfield, and so even though, yeah, actually Go Rush uh, pausing back, going a Hydalisk den instead, so it looks like he's going to go for more of a Hydalisk build. Maybe do uh, kind of a contain, just try to control the rest of the map, get some lurkers very quickly out on that front door. Looks like Fabian might be is making motions to take his second gas here as well, so thinking about getting a lot of it, uh, a lot of science vessels out as quickly as possible. So, uh, but yeah, at that mineral only, and that's not a, uh, we'll see if Fabian can comp set that off. Up until that stage, he's going to have no idea until he sees the first Hydralisks, or, uh, and actually both going down, so a Spire and a Hydralisk Den. And this is very clever, because that Hydralisk Den going down in the main, if there is a comm set from Fabian, he's going to be suspecting one tech, and Go Rush can actually switch uh, between the two. Could, in fact, go Hydralisks, go Lurkers, open up that temple on the backside, and then uh, kind of push things up from there across the mineral only. Cro uh, there is a basically that back door. You can see you just got a glimpse of that ramp on the main. Uh, basically, the, the Lurkers can, can loop around and come about around the backside. And he's going to need Scourge up in the air if he's going for an, alert, an early Lurker attack, knowing uh, that that quick gas was coming. I do believe he got a pretty solid Overlord scout. Uh, there's that factory down that he needs some Scourge up in the air very quickly to make sure that uh, that Science Vessel count stays very, very low early in the, uh, early in the game. Looks like Gorush now getting some Sun Colonies down just in case he's being pushed against. Looks like that uh, the Hydralist done already down. Spire uh, is already most of the way down. Now the question is, is what does he decide to build? Some Zerglings pushing out in the field, pushing back from the field, expecting a little bit of an attack. A l uh, Medic Marine holding, and I think Favian's bluffing here. I don't think he's actually thinking about doing an actual press. He's actually lifting his, he's opening up his front door now, lifting that uh, that barracks up to go in formation with the rest of the barracks so he can get a better troop flow out that front door, but he might just be doing the, th the very thing that Gorush wants. Bah, ha, ha, ha. Open up your front door so he can push through. So getting up some turrets now, and now the question is, is wh again, what does Gorush build? And he put down the Sutton colonies, but he hasn't actually, yeah, he was kind of suspecting the same thing I was, that Favian wasn't actually going to bite with that attack. Getting another uh, hatchery up, uh, looks about the 930 position, and there's that starport that we were expecting, so a little bit delayed though, I expected that a little bit sooner considering the gas that was being harvested. So uh, some marines now protecting that secondary, he's he's really building for an anti for, uh build, but uh, yeah, instead going to face lurkers, he's putting down several turrets across that secondary, expecting once again Gorush to push in with uh, several mutalisks, but instead he's going to be facing a lot of lurkers on his front door, and he's going to be vulnerable from a lot of angles. Once again, he's going to uh, he's got to guard his front door, and it looks like a siege tech probably gonna some tanks to assist getting that machine shop down. That front door uh, is going to be somewhat vulnerable because there's going to be a lot of lurkers out in the field along with those Zerglings because he's had a pretty sizable economy at this stage. Uh, already establishing, I think that's a third gas. Actually, he might be going... Is that the mineral only? I think he might be taking the mineral only up there at the upper left expansion. Wants to keep it hidden, I guess. Uh, taking a queen's nest as well. Now, yeah, pushing up to that temple. So in an interesting configuration here uh, so where you can attack uh, Marines but also do damage at that temple at the same time. And when you have splash damage, you, it looks like they're uh, actually in hold position right now. We'll see if he takes it off and just starts damaging it with that single lurker. It's uh, hard to tell from this. Okay, now he's drawing them back, 